Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, how to short uh, stocks or any financial instrument during the fifth Elliott wave. Alright, let's get uh, started. I've been asked by a YouTuber, uh, an Elliott wave trader, a very active Elliott wave trader. Uh, to explain uh, to traders uh, how one can sell in an uptrend after the fifth Elliott way. All right. The same thing is true. How can we buy after the fifth bearish way? So there was a bearish trend. We counted one, two, three, four, five. The multi wave is completed or the trending phase is completed. Now we want to take okay a reversal trading signal after the fifth wave. That was a difficult question. Normally I should be charging okay PMCLLC okay for that uh, the answer that I'm providing today. But because a PMCLLC is a friend, all right. <laughs> I will not charge you today. I will charge you another day. All right, this is to make you laugh a bit. All right. <clears throat> so oh, we are looking at uh, an American stock. So trading, you know, is the American stock? Some stock are listed in American uh, stock exchange, but they are not American stock. All right. So understand that. We are looking at Amgem Incorporated. Is that the correct pronunciation? Correct me in the comment section. I would like to know your thought about uh, my accent, how I pronounce, uh, okay, that stock, Amgem. The epic is AMGN, belonging to the healthcare sector. So previously, I have counted, uh, okay, uh, in fact, it was a four wave that I counted. During that time, I was not putting a number. You can see now, uh, today I put the numbers here. But before I was drawing line, the trader said to me, George, we would like to see the numbers. Right, so we were saying this is the first wave, all right? A second wave, a bit messy, complex second wave. All right, then we have the third wave, and we were here, and I was saying to traders, this is the fourth wave. All right, we see a consolidation in a horizontal channel. Sometimes we say, George, are you blind? It's a triangle. All right, doesn't matter. It is a consolidation. Agree or disagree? Please let us know in the comment section. I would like to know your thought, please. All right. So my intention is to keep this video short. So talking about short. Something like 20 minutes, even 25 minutes. Is that short for you? All right, we will see. So there was this kind of consolidation taking place. And we call it the fourth wave. By the way, we can clap for ourselves because uh, our wave count was accurate. And I was saying to trade anything is possible, all right? Now he breaks above it and he's now retesting it. So. Is this move, pay attention carefully, my friend, it is the fifth wave. So one of the reasons why this trader was asking the question is because I was saying to traders that, uh, that uh, the, the first, the third, and the fifth wave can be extended. So anytime we call anything first, third, or fifth way, we need to understand as an earlier way trainers, as earlier way trainers, that that impulse way can be extended. So it will be crazy uh, to just assume that that's the end of the fifth way. So that trader was saying that then it becomes very challenging to, to know when it's the end of the third, the, third, the, uh, the third, the first, and the fifth way, especially the fifth way. How do we sell then, George? At the end of the fifth wave. That's a very, very, very important question. And I would like to say to that traders, thank you very much for asking an essential question. So I put a list of things that we can do, all right? I have like uh, eight things that we can do. The first one that we want to do very fast is that, uh, like you now we are calling this the fifth wave. You see, always when I'm putting the fifth wave, if you look carefully on my chart, I always put it, I don't put it like this. 
All right. I try to put a little bit away from it. <laughs> the reason is that <laughs> the reason why I do that all the time is because it can be extended. The surprise, surprise extension is usually during the fifth wave. The fifth wave extension usually we create a big surprise. Why? Because any other trader that are trading like old fashioned way, so they can one, two, three, four, five, whether on the hourly time frame, daily chart, monthly chart, they just want to sell because they have been focusing the market. So they catch the third wave, they are very excited. They predict the fourth wave, now the fifth wave, they are also part of the fifth wave. And now the fifth wave is underway, and they say, all right, that's the end of the fifth wave. And they want to sell it also. So far, everything was working good. They are euphoric. And they start making mistakes. And sometimes, any other trader that were making excellent decisions during the multi way will give away all the gains that they have made during the multi way when they are trying to sell during the fifth way. What a mess. <laughs> all right. So the first thing that we need to do, very simple, PMC LM. You feel like now, as it is, it can be an extender, we know. So we just draw a line there. You see, I always do that. And then they say, Joe, you are not telling me anything. You just say, oh, priority to bully signal above, priority to signal below. What does it do to me, George? But it's so important. It's a warning line. It's a very important warning. So it's for yourself. And you leave it there. Okay? That's the warning line. So all the reason why you are drawing that line is just to tell yourself that if, if it breaks above that level, I will not sell it anymore. But before I forget, okay, to avoid all kind of blah, 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 if you want to sell after the fifth way, all right, the first thing that you want to see is what? A sign. What is the sign? The sign is the trading setup. How do you identify a bearish trading setup, a valid bearish trading setup, after the bullish, okay, fifth way. Have you identified a bullish, okay, trading setup after the bearish fifth way? If not, you have no reason to sell or to buy. That's it. I think that's a very important point to for this answer to this tutorial. In order to sell during the fifth way, one must identify first the trading setup. Will that be a good answer? A very important answer. Have you seen a bearish trading setup after that bullish fifth way? Have you seen a bullish trading setup after that bearish fifth way? All right. So the first thing we draw, we draw that line and we say, we know that if he breaks above it, I will not gang and sell it or fight it anymore. I will just throw with the prior. If he breaks above it, he will try to retest. He breaks above, retest. So I leave that line there and I say to myself, if one is trading the Amgen Incorporated, we are now in the fifth wave. That fifth wave can be extended, but or Joe, you always say bad, 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 bad. But that bad is so important. If he breaks a priority to body signal above 20992, and priority to body signal below 20992. Wouldn't it be good? If you did that, you see, that's what that's happening here. But it's not finished yet. Sometime you may start selling. This is another warning, all right? So you say, Yo, I did it right, all right? I see a belly to this account. Now sell it and start going down. Definitely, the, the mistake that you don't want to make is to think that definitely the, con the, the correction will continue. Sometimes, if you see like this, the prime may pull back a bit like this. Everybody say that we are now in a corrective phase. That corrective phase may blah, 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 blah. People do all kind of focus. And surprise, surprise, the prime will turn around and go up. And everybody say, oh, what's going on? <laughs> what are you going to do about that? So if you see a trading setup and you implement a top down trading method and you sell it after the fifth wave, all right? So the prior you sell, 
The price looking for a better support level. So those who sold it now like this, you see here, we're going to go to this. So this common circle line on the monthly chart is taken out. Did you agree or disagree? Please let us me know, please, in the comment section. The green line. Make it a bit darker. <laughs> you see? That common circle. Now he retest it. Now you have that your line at 20992. Prior to bullish signal above, prior to bear signal below. After that, the bullish can see bar is closed. You are watching it. Is there a signal to sell? There was a signal to sell. People sold it down. Now that you sold it, don't get carried away and think that definitely is going to go to the, the street explosion of the multi whale. No, 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 no. Your first, I guess, is the first and nearer resistance level. This one. So you see, people took profit here, yes or no? You see the tails? The first one, you see the tails? That's it. So don't get carried away because one thing that I try to share with traders, earlier with traders, that you have an edge. You can't deny it. You have an edge. You are focusing the market. You know something that is happening. But don't get carried away. The price, the number one indicator. Next thing, go one step at a time. That's it. So draw the first line there. Priority to bullish signal board. That can help. Okay. The warning line. Draw a warning line at the high of the fifth wave. Next thing that you can do apart from that and everything that i've said so far apply fibonacci extension to the third wave trader that are following us uh, i'm going to change the color of that new fibonacci so you can see it clearly i call it blue okay you see the blue i make it a bit thick those are the blue that's my new and uh, high like which level Trade that following a day pro trade, no? Highlight the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level of that third wave right there. That's another warning line. Can you do that? Yes, you can. So one of the reasons why we do that because usually not always the fifth wave can go up to and go try to go out but i see the fifth wave is underway the first challenge for that fifth wave is the one three eight point two percent <laughs> my policy traders uh, by one three eight point two percent fibonacci extension level okay. of the third wave so you want to have that line also there so what you are doing you are looking for key level where you can look for trading setup you remember what i said at the beginning after the fifth wave, or what you are calling fifth wave, is there a trading setup? By drawing those lines, you are bumping on your chart and know the where and how where. So, all right, if it goes above the 138.2% level, what's the next level? 161.8% Fibonacci extension level of what? The third wave. Draw this one and then draw the one three point two percent. Third step: apply apply pitch fork two to the third and the fourth wave. Apply pitch fork two hmm? to the third. All right, so we are selecting three point. The first point will be the low of uh, the third wave. The second point will be the high of the third wave. All right, and the third point will be the low of the fourth wave, and draw that pitch fork to. Now, but sometimes what I want to say to traders is that sometimes you will know all this, or you will understand them all, but sometimes you may forget to do them. It happens, but make it a habit. All right, make it a habit. You may want to take a note or whatever, but sometimes traders do forget. All right, in the heat of the trading, they forget. But you don't want to forget. You see, by drawing that pitch for two, you see what? Well? See what they are doing now? See, that's it. Sorry, there. What are they On the edge. Trading on the edge. Go to www.stochastic-money.com. Check on trading on the edge. You don't want to trade in the middle. 
All right, you want to trade on the edge like a crab. You see how the crab is going? Going on the edge. All right, catch a combo. It's lunchtime, you know, or oh, it's dinner time, you know. Draw that picture too. The reason why you want to, you see, it almost touches the media line of that picture too. I'm very surprised that they didn't push it to test the media line. <laughs> if I was here, I would be very, very <laughs> careful because they would try to test the video. I'm very surprised. They were very nice to stop here. You see? So, by drawing the high of the fifth wave, the one three eight point two percent if you're going to extension over the third wave, that P for two, you are just highlighting hot spot trading zone, looking for trading setup on the edge near a hot spot trading zone without fighting the price. The fourth thing that you need to do, all right, is to draw multi-wave trend lines. So the multi-wave is formed on the first, second, third, fourth, and the fifth wave. So the primary trend line is connected the low of the first wave and the low of the second wave. It's not easy in this case here. It's not easy at all. So you get idea. You just draw it like this, okay? Roughly, roughly. So they say, Joe, you, you see that word too much. You love roughly, roughly all the time, George. Now, the reason why I use that word quite often because I know that traders like it, okay? Draw, okay, the trend lines. It's another one. So what I did so far, I connected, this is roughly, roughly, yeah? Low of the first wave, low of the second wave. Then I connected the low of the third wave and the low of the fourth wave. Those are important trend lines. Those trend lines also can help you to pinpoint best trading setup. So the trading setup, generally speaking, they probably break below a key level, retest. You see here what it is here? Okay. Is it, no, this is, uh, yeah, it break below the common center line. You see the green common center line, and it went up to retest it. Many times, 80% of the time, they probably do that. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? You can just be patient and look for break below, retest. That can still but that is retesting much close on that time frame. All right. Break below, retest, break below, retest. So the fourth thing that you want to draw, draw, okay, the draw multi-way trend line. Will that be helpful? Okay. Will that be helpful? Okay, let me remove at least uh, those uh, blue dotted lines because too many lines so far. Better now. Okay? The fifth thing that you can do, I mentioned it already, draw the common center line of the fifth wave. You see here what we've done now? With this one, we've done it very fast. In fact, it should be one of the first things that you need to do before you even consider to shelf during the fifth wave, at least, at least that common center line should be broken. So, some traders that are very new to it, when we are talking about common center line, it's a trend line that we draw very, very close to the price. It's a common center line that is squeezing the price. Can we use that well on you too? Are we allowed to do that? So I will say to you, I want to keep it short. 20 minutes to 25 minutes. We'll see. <laughs> I think we're going to get near 28, something like that. Can you put up with me with that? <clears throat> All right. The next thing which I mentioned already, which is uh, the six things that you need to do, is uh, to identify a trading setup. I've said it at the beginning, all right? It's so important, number six, in fact, uh, is number one. Is there a bullish trading setup after you have labeled something fifth bearish way? Is there a bearish trading setup? Did you see it? Is it there? Do you like it? Is it high probability bearish trading setup after you have identified that bullish fifth wave? That's the fifth, the sixth step. The seventh step is what? Now that you have identified, so sixth step is what? You, you see, now you say, okay, there's a bearish trading setup. So you say, like here, you say, all right, George, let me bring below the common center and retest it. I draw my line, prior to bullish signal above, prior to bullish bearish signal below. I'm ready to sell, I'm ready to sell, to buy. You see here, yeah, that's why you now what do you do next? The seventh step is what 
apply a top-down trading method. So if Shari say you are here, you will say, oh, John say monthly chart for the trading setup, daily chart for the signal, and hourly time frame for the entry. John, I don't like to enter the trade on the hourly time frame. I'll break it down more. I'll go to the 10-minute time frame. You see? So you can break it down for the monthly chart, daily chart, hourly time frame, all the way to the 10-minute time frame. But if you are swing trading, I would advise you to enter the trade on the hourly time frame, breaking it down, monthly chart, daily chart, hourly time frame. You say, George, I don't like the, the hourly time frame, but I see two traders that are using, if you are using weekly chart for swing trading, be careful. If you are not making consistent winning trade on a weekly chart, you keep using weekly chart trading setup, it's time for you to check trading setup on the monthly chart. <laughs> now, a lot of uh, traders prefer to look for trading setup on the daily chart. If you are doing that, connect the daily chart with the monthly chart, meaning that you go to the monthly chart, draw all the key level, trend line, blah, 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 channel, before you go to your daily chart, looking for your trading setup. Otherwise, it's like you are trading blindly. And feel free to quote me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and say, George say that. And I'm okay with that. And the last thing after applying the top down trading method is what? Okay. You want to check the fundamental and check the trading volume. So I put it together because I don't want the video to be too long. The A step. Check the fundamentals and check the trading volume. So there was a trend. There was a good reason why there was a trend. People were not just stupid, hedge fund, okay? They were not just crazy buying the stock for all this year. Now you see your fifth way, you are thinking to sell it. Now go back to the drawing board because those that, has cre that have created the trend were looking at the fundamentals. All right, you remember? Uh, they say, as it was at the beginning, so it shall be at the end. As it was at the end, so it shall be at the end. So at the beginning, so what is happening is that at the beginning of a trend, what we look at, we look at the fundamentals. Is that we have a brighter future, all right? Is the management solid? Are they coping with the competition? Was the future hope for this financial issue before we even thinking of the third wave? So if the fundamentals are not solid, they are not getting more. There won't be any third wave at all. We will have X wave, the terror, the trend may fail. Okay? So those are the first things that we share at the beginning of a new trend, yes or no? And we also see the activity of the first buyers checking the trading volume, yes or no? So the same thing we do at the beginning of a new trend, we will do it at the end of a new trend. Especially for those of you who, it's because the trader, the word you use is short. To short is to sell and hold. <laughs> It's not a very popular word. It's the first time, in fact, I'm using that word in my video. I'll put in a title, the word short. If the video doesn't do well, PMC, LLC, I'll blame you for it. Now, this to make you laugh a bit, all right? That's the first time I'm going to put that word. Because it's not a very popular word. To short is to sell and hold. Now, trade and buy and hold. Sometimes they sell and hold. A lot of retail traders do not like that. A lot of investors do not like that either. Right. But sometimes this was happen. A correcty way will be placed for some years. All right. So I don't want the video to be too long. I would like to keep it 25, 26 minutes. Okay. If you have any more questions, please put in the comment section. And in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. First thing you need to do, draw a one in line at the high of the fifth wave. Next thing, second thing, draw the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level of the third wave. Third thing to do, apply Fibonacci, apply P for two to the third and the fourth wave. One more thing before I wrap it up, talking about the P for two. Sometimes, sometimes very important. When you apply the P for two to the third and the fourth wave, sometimes that P for two may not be useful to you. Sometimes the second pitch for two, in fact, the first is this the first pitch for two, connecting the low of the first wave and the high of the first wave and the low of the second wave, sometimes also can be helpful when we want to sell. So I'm putting on my chart another pitch for two can also be useful if, all right, we are 
uh, uh, trading the fifth way. The fifth thing I want you to do is to draw the common central line for the fifth way itself. The sixth thing you need to do, all right. Oh, I forget one step. So after drawing the pitchfork two, the fourth step is to draw all trend line to the motorway. You remember the blue trend line? Draw all the trend line to the motorway. The fifth is to draw the common set trend line to the fifth way itself. As we have shown you in this tutorial, the, the common set trend line to the fifth way itself. And the sixth thing that you want to do is to identify very, very important one, the trading setup, a high probability trading setup before you start selling or buying. The seventh step, which is normal after identifying the trading setup during the, the sixth step, you, the seventh step is to implement a different time frame trading method or a top down trading method. And the last step is to check the fundamental and also the trading volume. So this will conclude our discussion today about how to short or buy and hold stocks during okay, the fifth area wave. If you have any question or suggestion, please put it in the comment section. And of course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. All right. If the video has been totally, totally useful to you, please let us know by giving us your beautiful thumbs up. If you dislike it, be, slow, be sure to mark it down. If you think it's an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. All right. Sometimes I post a video first on Facebook. Okay, my Facebook page is stochastic macd All right, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, in my YouTube channel for idiot wave trading is two four idiot waves, digit two, digit four, idiot waves in plural. Subscribe today and be sure to click on the notification bell so anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. This video was recorded today because uh, a trader called PMLC LSC has asked a very, very important question okay, about how to short stocks during the fifth wave. Until the next time, Enjoy yourself and be a very happy. We are the GSTW24 traders talking about how to short a stock during the fifth wave. All right, if you want to learn more about the in your way trading, go to www.24idiotwaves.com. As always, I appreciate when traders share our video. Are you one of those traders that are sharing our video? I would like to take this opportunity to say to you, thank you very much. Happy to to you all, and I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching.